afternoon. I hope everybody is well and we today are going to do the 100 day project and we are going to put pages in um, this little envelope journal and it was um, recommended to me and I thought it was a great idea to put a strip of fabric. I'm still sitting on it. Here it is. It's, I've been sitting on it. It's nice and warm. <laughs> um, <laughs> put a piece of fabric here and I think I will definitely do that. So I won't do it too long and I won't do it too wide. So I could actually stitch pages in there if I if I put fabric there as well, I could actually stitch pages in there. So let's put some glue here and glue that in there so it's nice and strong I haven't glued that down because I haven't decided yet so I'm going to use this glue and just eyeball about where it should go a little bit in the center as well and of course before I would ever stitch any pages in I would let that dry a little bit I think so how is everyone I hope you're all well I'm just going to Oh, I shouldn't touch this glue. This glue makes me get irritations. I'm just going to get a wet one so I can dry it off straight away. Okay. And I have decided to leave that open, so um, that's why that's up. Otherwise, I would have closed it first and then glued this on. Okay, I might even use my wet one and just wipe the excess off. There we go. So that's that. And do I need to put it anywhere else? I'm also going to stitch in pages here, but I need to close this first. I'm not going to leave that as a tuck um, that way. I'm going to close it and then do it as a tuck. So I could decide to put pages. Well, I could put pages in in between here and there everywhere, really. Even there. Okay, well, that's fun. Let's just start folding our pages. And Oh, and I did decide I was going to glue this on. And I'm just deciding... I'm going to leave it open like that and I'm just deciding I think I'll leave that but I'm wondering whether just to make it a little tuck I think I will I think I'll just put run some glue along here um, maybe this I don't want to put too much because it will crinkle Let's just put a bit of glue here and glue it in place so how is everyone today? Hope you're well. We are well. Um, you know, just busy doing things. A bit late with the video. It's the afternoon. But there's no noisy people today. And they weren't here yesterday either, which is really great. And they won't be here, I guess, on the weekend either. Okay, so that's attached. That opens up like that. Look at that glue everywhere. Let's just grab the card and make sure it sticks properly. Okay. Okay, so that's our little thing. It's all stuck. And we need to start looking at pages. So I've got some straw paper. I've got some old book pages. I've got this grid paper. I've got some vintage lined paper. I won't need all this got some tea dyed paper and then I did a little bit of printing as well some bigger printing and smaller printing here so um, I'm not sure about those I'm definitely going to have this one but now what I need to do is I measure it and this is the way I measure I go like this put it on here I can go a little bit a little bit wider, I think. Yeah, like that. That's about my template. And I'm not going to take that off. That can be a flip out. Okay. 
there we go. So I don't want to go any bigger than that. So this one I will fold like so. I've done a couple of mix, of, a few mix, a mix of digitals here. Just put the pages aside. This is our latest botanical and latest. Um, well, I could put it in the Easter sort of thing, but it's not really. I mean, there's bunnies, but it's not. Um, there's nothing really particularly Easter on it, if you know what I mean. Like nothing says Easter or anything like that. So some of these I will glue down these folded over bits, and some I will. Um, have as flips and I might not need all of these pages I'm just going to fold them and see what happens and then I decide and then I just use them for another one if I don't use them now just eyeball it a little bit I'm sort of looking where the like you know where the bunny is or where the bird is and just try and make sure that they well where possible that they're not folded in half. So way too many pages, way more than what I think I might need. I'm just gonna fold that one like that. Oh, this is like was an A A five piece of paper. I uh, not A five A three. Sorry, A three piece of paper. So I'm going to tear it. I'm actually not mad about that design pattern on there, but anyway, I can cover it up a bit and just fold it like so. And that I'll resize afterwards. I'll do the same. This one I'll just fold half and then resize it. And there's those. And then we've got this. And I don't need all these papers, I can tell you that now. Um, this one I might tear more or less in half. And I'm going to just fold it like. Yeah, about like that. And then I can extend that page. don't know if I need both or just one, but we'll see. So pick out your variety of papers that you, that you like, and then you can decide what's going to go in it. Okay, so, so what I might do is I might divide them into three groups because we'll stitch them into three different areas of the book. So first of all, I, what I'll do is I divide them into types. So plain and then script and then we've got the decorated. So let's look at the decorated first. So divide them into types. That one there, that one there, that one there. And then they've got, I'm not going to put those two together, put that one there. So this one has one page less. It has one page more. So put that one there. This one in the middle. There we go, that worked out well. But I might not need all these, as I said, all these pages. So this is group one. And I'm going to put them in order of how I would like to see them. And I think I would like to see them like this. Maybe put that in the center. So we'll put this in here. That one, that's two writing pages together. So now I need this one and then this one. I don't put two writing pages together and then that one. That's group one. Group two. 
put a few more digis. Oh, now what? What? Now I'm thinking. Oh, another. I'm not going to be able to see them together, am I? So I'll put that. That. So here we're just alternating the different pages. That one. And this one. And then this one. Again, alternating. So we'll have this one. And you can add more. I'm going to see. I, would, I might add more. I don't know. I'm just going to see how I go. In the centre. Okay. Right. Now let's have a look at our book and see. So I put, I put my... What have I done? Flip it over. Put my first group is going to stitch in there. Because don't forget these envelopes are also like pages as well. So when you open it, so we're going to stitch that in there. And I think I'll trim it down afterwards. I'll just trim trim those off. So that's going to go in there. Um, and then I'm going to open that there. And I might add these pages in here. And then I'm going to open it. No, that's not going to work. Let's add these pages in there who knows if, how this is going to work and that in there and look at that okay so I think we should just do it so I'm going to grab my book binding stuff and I'm not going to measure I am going to just poke it with my book roll and and um, and then just stitch it in. But I will take out, what I will do is, okay, that's my first one. I will take these out. Put those there, over here. And then I'll just, now I'm wondering where I'm going to stitch in the pages which one more was here? No, I don't want to reinforce that with that because they're all going to stitch into this bit here. I don't know if this is going to work, guys, but we're going to have we're going to give it a go. It's not going to be the end of the world if it doesn't work. I think I put that one in the center, and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to grab some. Oh, I've got them in here actually. So I just have this nice tin. And I keep all my bookmaking stuff in here. It could look like a hot mess, but then it's going to go in something. I haven't decided what the cover's going to be, but it's going to go inside something. This, so um, yeah, I think it'll be all right. We'll see. I like these clips because if you've got papers that aren't all the same height, then these sort of catch them and hold them in place a little bit. And I'm, uh, will I measure? No, I don't think I'm going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball. So I'm going to stick that, put a hole there in the center. Just jiggle it around and then slide it through and there. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here because I've never done it before. So we'll see. Grab my thread. I think I'll use this one. And... I have a needle in here somewhere. It's, I like a blunt one. I should get rid of those ones. They came with the, the book binding kit, but they're very sharp, and you you do you do risk um, splitting your thread if you use those. I cannot find my other one, it's not those. There it is, tucked away in the edge. Okay. So just three, do the three hole, um, what's it called? Um, 
pamphlet stitch. Okay. Well, they're in, but we don't know what's going to happen with the other ones. Okay, let's see what happens next. So then, then I wanted to put some in here. No, here. Is that right? Or no, I wanted to put some in there. So I wanted to put some in here. So what's going to happen? I'll just have little holes poked next door, I guess. I need my pages. Let's just see. I'm going to put them in here. Center. More or less. Am I complicating my life? This is the question. Or am I making my life easier? By not measuring and just winging it who knows so I just hold it up again I'm going to eyeball but I'm just going to try and get it in a similar area yes I think it's coming out next to it oh yes it is well that's good that's what I want and that one I can kind of guess where the other one is and it's just next to it it's a very very bodgy business what I'm doing that'll do I mean if they were all different it would probably even be good because then that you know you're not going to poke through the same spot and weaken it but that's pretty good it's right next door which is just suits me just fine And maybe I should have limited myself to just stitching in two groups of pages, but I wanted to add a bit more, didn't I? Go back in through there. And you always make sure you just come on the other side of your centre bit. Pull it tight. Trim that. So there's no wastage. Hopefully I didn't stitch them in upside down. That's a good idea. Check that before you stitch it. Don't stitch them in upside down. Well, this is very quick business, I tell you what. Now let's have a look how we're going. Instantly, we've got pages together. Can you see that? Look, just next to each other. How cool is that? So this is how it's... That's supposed to go like that. And then you've got pages. Cool, 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 cool. Flip. And that's a tuck. Not a strong tuck because it's just, um, I don't like that, but I'll cover that. Um, that's crooked. Oh, I can just fix that. I'll just refold it. I'm always crooked. Just call me crooked, Rachel. Not crooked as in, in the sense of the criminal crooked. Just crooked. Oh, I like this. I'm hoping I can get my other bits in. I'm going to push my luck really like that I'm going to push my luck and do those in there okay let's do it or you know another thing you could do is just say um, we don't have that happening but just say we had another long envelope attached somewhere you could stitch the pages in that way and have them flip out that way we must do that one day i've never done that before we must do that that's something that's a must do what does everyone think so we're going to put this in here so let's clip it in place and i'm liking this like that and i'll tell you what i'm going to do there in a minute so this is going to i'm going to come in here so i'm going to it's going to be a bit funny because the spine i'm going to have holes there but do i care nope I do not. So now this clip has to clip on here. 
So I'm sort of just readjusting my spine, really. I'm creating a new one. I'm expanding it. So I need to get my book wall and I'm just eyeballing. I can kind of see where my hand is and my the, the other hole. It's not precise, but it's near enough. And I'm just going a little bit off center there to get through. Because I want to I, I want to be a little bit off center because I don't want to I don't want to poke through that hole there. You know, too close to that hole, because I would be worried it's going to sort of break. So I'm just going sort of in this direction, like that, you see? Seems to be working just fine. And as I always say, it's not the end of the world if you mess up. It's just paper. There we go. It's all happening. It's all happening. It all is, and I'm very excited, because it's something different. Well, slightly different. We've done these before, but not quite like this. I think I've just added the pages in the center the last time. But this time I've added three different groups of pages and I'm very excited about it. And I know you can tell because I've become all enthusiastic. Okay. You see that? I've, no, my new, I've got a new, see there's the center, but now all my stitching's coming off onto the side. I'm sure it won't be a problem. I'm, I have faith. There will be no problem. Just going to not waste my thread. And this is just a wax thread, and I like it because it's thick. It's not... Um, I did buy one, um, a wax linen, and it was very thin, and it tended to really rip the pages. This one's quite nice. It's flat and um, flattish, and it's thick, and it doesn't seem to rip the pages like the thin one does. Um, could have been just me because it was right before I even really knew how to make books. Not that I really know how to make them now. I just sort of make it up as I go. So there we go. We've got pages and look at that. See, in theory that, I'll oh, be quiet dog. Maybe I should have had one over here, one in the center and one there, but it doesn't matter. I've done them all on the back, but I don't think it matters. As long as my pages stay in, who cares? So let's close this. I like to keep that little crafty mat there. So I can just whip it out when I'm doing this sort of thing. Close that. Put that down there. Right. And we've got our book. Now, I do have these pages sticking out and I don't want those. So what I do is just going to put my ruler there and tear them down. I'm not going to bother, um, what is it called? I'm not going to bend the, fold these over and... Oops, is, it doesn't matter if they're a mess. Um, and make them flips because that's that's vintage paper and it's quite, um, you know, crumbly. So then I'll just get my scissors and... Nearly, I mean, I nearly cut my finger there, but um, that's fine. I can leave that like that. And this one's a bit, a bit of a mess. Do we care? No, I think I like that. So I'm going to leave that. Now what's happening here? I need to go here and tear this. And I have not decided the cover yet, so that's going to be fun. But we'll end up with a full-on journal. Let me put this one here and tear this down. I could have folded these over, but I think there's plenty of flippy, flippity gibbets happening in the journal. I'm going to take this off. It's a bit crooked. Just, I'm just crooked. I always do things crooked. Am I on screen? Yes, just. Don't want the screen police getting on my case. Yeah. And I embrace the messy. I do. I think it gives it character. I don't like things being all perfect. Otherwise, you know, might as well be made in a factory. So that was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because there was no stress attached to it. I just did. I just sort of made it up. I just did it. I just stitch them in the way I wanted to. I don't care. As long as they stay together. And look, we'll do a flip through. It works. Look, it's all working. Look at that. It does work. Super pretty. Lots of scope for fun things to happen. I might. I'm not liking that bit. Oh, that's what I'm honest about. I'm not liking that. I'm going to tear that off. Not so easy. Easier said than done. Okay. I'm 
liking that, you know, like it looks like a shark took a bite out of that one. And I'm liking that. That flips out. How cute is that? This flips up. This will be work like that. That's good. Great. Covering that. Got to remember that. That's going like that. This is wonderful. I'm very happy about this. And we're not done yet. Really happy about that. Cool. So then with these, I don't like that. I don't want that to be opening that way. So what I do is I'll put a piece of paper there and then cut it on the side or the top and decide how I want that to open. And this one is hinged. Oh, look at that. It's very strong. Like so. So that's good. Lots to be done there. And the same again. This is going to be closed and I'll open that one at the top because, um, oh, having a thought. Like I could actually open it at the top and trim it there and then fold it down. Could that be interesting? Mm. Do you think I'll remember that? Maybe not. Hopefully I'll remember. Oh, I like this. I want to put together another one. I need to go and print double-sided pages. It's just nice to also do a little flip through and just, you know, recrease everything to go with the new binding. That's been done and that's a pocket. And then that's like that. And that needs a little bit of creasing just to get it to mold into the shape. And that one's gonna, that one can stay open. Yeah, that one's just gonna stay open like that. And I'm also just going to, while I'm at it, I'm gonna snip that corner there. Okay, cool. So that's really good. Now here, would have been nice. I think I might just decorate this. I could have put an acetate pocket there so that you didn't cover up all of that, but I won't do that on this one um, because I think I probably should have, would have needed to stitch around it to make it stay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could do a vellum pocket. and you, Oh, no, I can't staple it on that side, but I could glue it down. And then there's all the undecorating. I need to cover that up. That needs to be done. Now, I do have these sheets here. Now, what I thought you can do with these, because I printed them, I wasn't intending on putting them in as pages, but because I printed them double-sided, what's fun to do with this sort of thing is sort of like you could attach it here around one, two, three sides and make it a tuck, but then fold it over like so on itself and do that on one side of this this nice paper and then put a tab on it and it and it pulls out like that and it also goes over like that and then you've got extra journaling space so that's I think I'll probably do that with that one well let's do it right now why don't we just do it why not so grab the Tombow glue I love the reverse side of the letters too um, as pages because there's not too much on them. Um, and But then you can, so there's writing space, but they've also got really cool graphics on them, don't they? Well, I put that one all that way. Maybe I'll put it that way. I think I'll put it that way. So... Okay, so it pulls out like this, pull over like that, but it's also a tuck as well. So I'll just leave that to dry and I will put a tab on it, but we'll do that afterwards. Of course, I've nearly run out of all kinds of things that I've made. So, because um, I finished a few journal journals that have been designated and... Um, and so I, I was sort of at, back at square one almost with th having to make things. But that's a really nice, simple way to create a tuck is using this sort of thing. So print it on both sides. 
Isn't that lovely? And then you can have them as tucks. So I think that's it for today. Well, no, maybe let's decorate the front. Sorry, let's do a little bit on here. I was going to stop, but then I think, well, maybe I need to do a little bit of something on there. And then, and then I'll be ready to continue on tomorrow. So I've got some, do I want, I don't think I want a bird. I think I want some sort of flower, but I don't want one. I did have to do a print up. See that, I think I quite like that. I think I'll do that one because it's long and narrow. And I think I'm going to fussy tear it. Even though I've sort of cut around it to put it in my box, I'm going to fussy tear it. The other thing is that I wanted to show you was I went to the Chinese store today and the Chinese store is just because it's run by um, Chinese, but it's a discount store. That's It's a bit like a Dollar Tree, but things don't cost a dollar. They cost a bit more, but I got this little cute container. So it's just a plastic container. Can you imagine we get excited about plastic containers? And I have, I had all of my um, scraps in my plastic pouches like this. Except the, the thing about it is they've been really annoying me, these sorts of scraps, you know, the slightly bigger scraps. They've been, it's just sort of, they fall out everywhere. So I put them in this container and then I put my little pieces in there. And I think this is going to be better and neater on my table than having all of these pouches. So I think I might go back and get a few more. And then um, when I, because um, look at that, and then you can label them. And so just the, my go-to things, because I really am, I really do get into such a mess with all of the scraps. So um, yeah, I did go there and I did get, I mean, they've revamped. I haven't been there for a while and they revamped their stationary section. I bought a whole lot of my Josh glue. I'm hoping it's not the mushy type because I've nearly run out of my prick glue. So I'm going to put that there. But I'm also going to put a little bit of book page. I don't think I've got any scraps of book page up here. So I bought a whole lot of my Giotto glue. And I think it's not the mushy type, I don't think. And um, to, because this is these are my last two of these. And, um, and then I got, oh, I mean, it's kids paint. I'm just really excited about it though. It's in the sun. They've got this brand Prima. Tempera is just like a kid's blue, uh, glue. But look, fluoro colours. I want to have a play with that. And um, what else did I get? Oh, I got... Um, I want to go back and get more. I'm going to go back and get more. I've got paint pens. So this is gesso liquid. This is gesso. I haven't tried it. Let's try it. Lulu had a go with them. Um, it's like, so it should be chalky. Oh, look at that. Really cool. So I'm going to go back and get those. They cost €1.50. Really great. And I got a gold. I do like a little pop of fluoro. That's the gold. It's really, really pigmented. So I love that. So I got those. Um, got my glues. Got the fluoro paint. I have to give that a go. Got my box. And I got staples for my other stapler downstairs. And I'm sitting on them. Yeah, there, there they are. I couldn't find them in the little ones. I couldn't remember what they're called. So, yeah, I got these because I needed those. And so, yeah, I had a bit of fun. And then I got a message from Madame that she had a sore throat. And so I had to go and pick her up from school that she needed to come home because it was quite, it's quite a strong. I don't think it's the you know what, but she does suffer from sore throat. I did do a, a test on her. My sister had, because she's at, um, you know, at school, they're full of those, um, they call them the lollipop tests. They're the ones that you swish around in your mouth. Um, and um, so she did that, and it's not that, so she's fine. I think I need a bigger piece of book page. She's just got a sore throat. I mean, she has the most terrible tonsils, Lily. Um, they're huge. In fact, when I used to take her to the paediatrician, she'd get a shock every time she had a look because she'd always forget how big Lulu's tonsils were. I think I'm going to put that there like that. Yes, that's it. Okay, so that's going to be my cover. Well, it's not the cover because we're going to have it. It's going to have another cover. I don't know whether I might do it Midori style, like make a Midori style sort of cover or what. I don't know what the cover is going to be. I haven't decided. It could be um, that I attach it somehow even to broken covers. Who knows? You know, book covers, broken ones. So that's going to go like that.
And as I mentioned yesterday, the thing I'm excited about these envelopes is that um, they don't have to all be covered up because, um, you know, it's lovely craft. That's this speckledy oatmeal-y colour. So, yeah, they're really... Thing. Now, this one I am... I'm just let me see how easy it is to slide things in. I could easily slide in that one. I could easily... Well, that one I'm going to cover. This one I don't know whether I'll leave that or not, so I'll decide that. I've got the flower there. Let's work on this one. So what will I have on here? Let's go into the scraps. Now that we've, I mean, it's, but you do have to rifle through the scraps, though, in the container, which is not always fun. Oh, now this was a boo-boo in printing. So what I did was I, it, it's the printer that the, I don't know, for some reason, it jiggles about on the table that we've got it on here. And so the plug came out of the back and it only printed to here on the, of this paper. And, and, and then I had all of the A4 paper left and I thought, well, I've put print on the reverse side and then I've got the, here's the other part of it. You see, it's stopped there. I've torn it down now, but it stopped. See, that's where it joined. And so I printed on the reverse side just with an old piece of lined paper and that I can use to back tags and stuff. So I thought rather than just waste the white paper that I, you know, maybe I could tea dye it or something, but, um, you know, boo-boos can, well, now these are good pieces. Boo-boos can just be turned into something that works. That's what my point is. And I'm just trying to see another bigger piece I haven't used this piece has been flying around forever we need to find a home for that okay so just put that over there I'm not using that one I just thought well I could use that I thought that would be nice made into a tag or something so maybe I will do that even though it's printed on the reverse side now, I think this could be really nice on here. Just let's have a look. Just to use it because it's been flying around forever. So if I put that... Yeah, that could work. That's better. I like that more. Okay, let's tear this down. And I don't, I don't actually need to... I'm not going to cover all of my envelope. I'm going to have li li peekabooing out the side. We like a bit of peekaboo. Oops, that sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? Not that kind of peekaboo. Okay. And then I'll have to decide if I really want to cover that up or not because it's so pretty. Make sure I put plenty of blue on. This is why I run out of blue. So use it in exorbitant amounts. So it's quite a long process, obviously, because then it's at like, um, by the end of the day, it's putting together a whole journal, really. Oh, gosh. There's something wrong with me this week. I just keep doing silly things. I just can't I just can't do things properly this week. It's just there's something wrong. The brain is not connecting. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, I see I like that I like those those sort of colors peekabooing out of there. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a pretty uh, label so someone can write something in there. Now let's see, do we want one of Steffi's labels? I think these, I would like them smaller. I printed them out very big there. So therefore I will not use it because it's too big. I think I probably need to print up some more labels. This is in keeping, but I would like it smaller. I like that, but is that too in keeping? 
because that's more modern. Does it matter? Probably doesn't. I don't usually worry about these things, do I? So I don't know why I'm worrying about it now. <laughs> Decisions are the worst. I usually like these ones. These are quite good go-to labels. Something like that could work. I think I think that's just way too big. Way too big. Do I have any medium ones here of a type that would interest me? Not that one. Isn't it interesting? On that paper, it printed out those colours, but on the, on my HP paper, it printed out like that. And this is really the colour that it should be. That would have been nice, but I don't have that. I need to reprint them because I use these ones all the time. I love them. You might have noticed that one. I'm going to go with the, the little one. Okay. Oh, wait, just a second. I forgot about these. I need to put these in my label book. This is what I need to put in my label book, these ones. One of these might be good. Not that one. That one's too big. I have established that I don't want them to be too big. I don't want those. I'm just going to pull them out for a second. You just have to bear with me till I find what I'm looking what I think I'm looking for. See, I use those ones quite a lot, the vertical ones, so I may not even, you never know, I might not have what I'm looking for. I wonder how long I've been here for. Oh, that one, I love that, but that doesn't go. What's here? It doesn't want to reveal itself. Oh, no, that's the squirrel. That's too big. I did like that, but it's too big. No, I might not have them. I might have used them all. Not that one. Have I used them all? Have I? Ah, oh, yes, I have. I have used all of the, the, the this size vertical ones in the other types. That's interesting. I'm just going to put that one in there because I'm going to tidy them up into the other thing. I'm just going to put the birdies. So this will be a multiple part project. So we can glue this on. I'm like a child with the fluoro things. My sister will be very proud of me. I hope those fluoro paints work. Oh, I know. I got a, 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 another glitter glue but because I really like the colour and it was on sale. I think it might have been end of line. Just a sec. Here it is. It's rose gold. So that way I don't have to mess about with glitter because I've got it in the glue and it's not going to go everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think I'm going to stop now. That's quite nice. I'm going to stop now and um, and we'll do more tomorrow because it's really fun and I want to keep on doing more. We've put that pocket in there. So as you can see, you can tuck in there. It hasn't glued. I didn't. don't think I put... Oh, no, it does have glue. I thought I hadn't glued enough. So there's plenty of fun to be had with this little envelope. It started off with envelopes. Journal. Really fun. So I hope you enjoyed that and you are making one as well. And um, I will be back tomorrow to do some more. So thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye.